everybody, this is a Minecraft tutorial-like thing. Okay, and wow, my screen's cluttered. So this is on how to use INV Grid here. Now, this is like INV Edit for Macs, and when they came up with a new update, it's better, but it's more complicated, because now you don't just open up World 1 through 5. Now you click Open. Now this is, of course, if you have INV Edit, which I'll send a link to the place. Now these are all of my worlds, so let's open up looking for cows, JK, JK, JK. Just, just kidding, guys. Then you click the level dot dat, not the level dot dat old, just the level dot dat. Double click that, and you see I had nothing in this world. So new item and type whatever you want. Uh, snow. Let's get some snowballs. You can choose any amount of item. Now you can go. There's the automatic 64. Now you can have above 64 in a single stack. And the highest number is 255. But that does not work with snowball, so that's a bad example. Let's use snow block. I can do 255. I can't go any higher. As you can see, if I try to go up, it doesn't work. I can go down. I don't know why that is, but same. Now, if I do a diamond block, I can make it partially damaged already. So, I mean, diamond X. So, I was going to have one, right? So, I can make it damaged. Now, damaged means the durability of it and how much it's gone down. Well, look, I can make it negative. So, let's go... That's as large as I can make it. And that means it takes that much damage before it starts working. So, instead of having to copy down 64 diamond axes, you can just do one with a ton of damage like that. And it'll last a long time. So, watch. We go to File. I do Save. You can do save as, and it'll just work the same, but save keeps this up. So say you go in that world and you use all these items out, then you want to use the same items again, you'll just have to click save again. So we open up Minecraft, single player, and I have a lot of worlds. Looking for cows, or spelled it wrong. And see, there is my snow block, and my diamond axe. I want to make sure this isn't peaceful so I don't get eaten alive. Now you can also change your spawn position and your health, but that should be self-explanatory. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was Dwarf Games, as always, and this was a Minecraft tutorial. Thumbs up and comment if you would like more. Uh, this is Dwarf Games. Peace out!